in Photoshop, sometimes it's really hard for you to see the forest from the trees if you're really, really zoomed in on something. So I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to kind of keep the overall picture in mind when you're doing any kind of work. Before we do that, we're going to have to zoom in. I want to work on this cobblestone that we have here. So, or basically this brick area. I'm going to zoom in right here. And let's say that I want to make this a little bit more textured right so in order for us to do that then i'd have to come over here maybe do a duplicate of this then from here i'm going to go to filter let's say other i'm going to go to high pass and i talk about this in my photoshop class if you want to take a look at that make sure that you go to the first shot school website but i'm gonna come over here i'm going to switch this i'm going to go to soft light now that i have that set click on before and after not bad now I'm going to hide this with a mask and this is where it starts getting a little problematic because I don't really know where I'm applying this because I'm so zoomed in, right? Here's the tip. Go to window and under window, you can go to arrange and under the arrange section, you have an option to create a new window for this one image. Now that I have the effects set, I'm going to go to window and I'm going to go to arrange and I'm going to float all in windows. So I have one window that is smaller. All right, I'll move this one over here and I'll make this one kind of the one that I'm going to be using to take a look at my effect, right? I can zoom out here and see the overall picture. Now this window, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to make smaller here so that I can do some work. Get into this one section here. And now I can go ahead and move my layers palette over here. And as I do any kind of brush work in this area, to change this, you're going to notice the change right in this one area. All right, bring it over here, change that. No, all of the changes are being done there. Now, if you want to see a very drastic change, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to, let's go ahead and do a solid color. And then I'm just going to invert this mask to hide it. All right? So anytime that I make any kind of adjustment here, there's the adjustment there. So it's a great way for you to work really, really close up and still be able to see all the changes that you need right on that image.